Okay, so the next step that we need to perform so that we can get started with the starter code is actually to accept the project in a tool called GitHub Classroom. So this is super easy. Um, there's a link here on the MP write-up. So I'm just gonna click on it. Now I need to be logged into my GitHub account. Uh, if I'm not, um, then you know I, I might need to do that before I can get to this page. Now this is showing me a, a little bit of an error message. That's okay. I've been testing this, so I created an account before and it worked, and then I had to delete it. Um, so your uh, dialog is going to look a little different. I'll just hit reaccept, um, and now this is probably what you're going to see. So you're going to see uh, accept this, and, and what you want to do is click accept this assignment. Um, when you do this, the um, the, you'll see this screen and you do need to refresh this page in order to get updates. It's not going to refresh automatically. So creating the repository doesn't take very long. Uh, I know it should only take a minute or two. So I'll just hit refresh. Um, and now I'm, I'm good to go. And you'll see here that there's a link uh, that I can click on. And this takes me to the starter code for um, the MP. Now this is for Java. The Kotlin process is essentially the same, uh, but just uses a different link. So once you get to this page and you have access to this, um, so this is the Java starter code for the project, great. Once you get here, you're ready to move on to the next step in the process.